Hi, so ngayon, let's try to uh, take the derivative of a function using implicit differentiation. So, yung implicit differentiation, um, ginagamit siya kapag yung function mo merong x at saka merong y. So, dito, uh, by definition, implicit differentiation is taking derivatives in terms of variable and function. Kasi, um, pwede ka makakita ng uh, two variables sa isang function at kailangan mo kunin yung derivative niya kaya tayo gagamit ng implicit differentiation. Hindi naman siya mahirap, medyo parang uh, kumukha ka rin ng chain rule or gumagamit ng chain rule pagka ginagamit mo yung implicit differentiation. So, I'm sure alam nyo na yung symbol na to, yung f prime of x. So, usually ito yung ginagamit natin pagka nagsusulat tayo ng derivatives. Meron din y prime at pwede rin du dx na usually ginagamit natin or nakikita nyo to pagka yung formula ng derivative ng trig ang gagamitin. Pero ngayon, dito, mas marami kayo makikita ang dy dx na notation or uh, kung paano natin isulat yung derivative na isang function para sa implicit differentiation. So, punta tayo sa unang example. Um, mula dun sa power rule, for example, dito sa example number 1 natin, we have f of x is equal to x to the fifth. So, isang term lang siya or isang function, so gagamitan lang natin siya ng power rule. So, yung f of x na equal to x to the fifth, f prime of x will be the derivative of x to the fifth in terms of x. So, power rule lang yung gagamitin natin. So, x to the fifth, ibababa mo yung exponent. And then, magma-minus 1 ka dito sa exponent, kaya magiging 4. Ngayon, um, gusto kong introduce yung uh, dx over dx na notation kasi usually, pagka kumagamit tayo ng power rule, uh, hindi na natin sinusulat yung dx over dx. But, um, sa totoo, pagka kinuha mo na yung f prime of x, which is nga yung derivative, sinusulat mo yung dx over dx para sabihin na nakuha mo na yung derivative ng function. Pero, hindi na natin siya isusulat kasi dx over dx is equal to 1 lang. So, hindi nyo na nakikita yung dx over dx kapag nagdi-differentiate kayo. So, yung final answer natin laging yung 5x to the 4th na lang. Pero, hindi nyo na nakikita yung dx over dx. So, similar lang siya pagka logarithm of x. So, kung logarithm of x, alam nyo na na yung base niya is 10. Or kung x squared, ang alam nyo na na com coefficient niya is 1. At kung meron tayong square root, alam nyo na na meron siyang 2 dun sa um, radical sign. Pero hindi na natin siya sinusulat. Similar dito sa power rule na um, x to the fifth in terms of x. Now, itong type ng uh, derivative na to na power rule is derivatives in terms of the same variable kasi f of x, kinuha kami derivative ng 5x to the 4th, which is x lang. Isa lang yung variable na nakikita nyo. Now, dito naman sa number 2, iba na siya kasi kinukuha mo na ngayon yung derivative ng y to the 5th in terms of x. Siyempre, yung y to the 5th hindi naman siya x. So, kapag kaganyan na yung function na kailangan yung i-differentiate, gagamitan nyo pa rin siya ng power rule, pero yung sagot nyo magiging baba nyo yung 5, tulad ng power rule, maging 5y to the 4th. Pero ngayon, sinulat ko na yung dy over dx kasi I took the derivative of y to the 5th in terms of x. As since hindi naman siya x, so isusulat natin siya as dy over dx. Kaya yung number 2, d over or derivative of y to the 5th in terms of x, magiging 5y to the 4th dy over dx. So wag nyo kalilimutang ilagay yung notation na to kasi ito yung nag indicate na nag nag-deny mo yung function, nagkumuha ng derivative ng function in terms of x kahit y yung nakikita nyo. Ito yung tinatawag na derivatives in terms of different variables. Kaya dito sa third example, kung makikita nyo, meron tayong dalawang terms or dalawang functions. Meron tayong x cubed, meron tayong y cubed, at kailangan natin kunin yung derivative ng bawat isa. So, derivative ng x cubed in terms of x is going to be 3x squared dx over dx. Kasi, kinuha natin yung derivative ng x in terms of the same variable. At dito naman sa pangalawang function or term, we have the we're trying to take the derivative of y cubed in terms of x. So, obviously, hindi naman siya x, y siya. So, gamitan nyo lang siya ng power rule, maging 3y cubed, pero isusulat nyo yung dy over dx. To indicate na 
Tinuha mo yung derivative nitong function na to in terms of x. So, uh, final answer natin, since yung dx over dx hindi na natin sinusulat, Simplify further. Ito na yung sagot na 3x squared plus 3y cubed dy over dx. Now, may mga ibang notation na ginagamit tayo. Minsan, hindi dy over dx yung nakikita nyo sa libro or ginagamit ng teacher nyo. Usually, or sa ibang teachers, like nung nagka-college ako, ang ginagamit ni uh, Dr. Raposa sa amin is y prime. So, pwede din namang y prime kasi ibig sabihin yan, kinuha mo yung derivative nung function na to in terms of y. So, minsan makikita nyo y prime to instead of dy over dx. So, parehas lang naman siya. Pwedeng y prime, pwedeng dy over dx. Pero dito sa mga examples ko, ito yung notation na gagamitin ko kasi ito yung nakasanayan ko simula na nagturo ako ng calculus. So, let's have another example. So, ito naman, we're trying to find dy over dx ng function na 3y to the 9th equals 1. So, meron tayong dalawang functions or dalawang terms. Meron tayong 3y to the 9th, saka 1. So, katulad ng previous example, example number 3, kukunin mo yung derivative ng 3y to the 9th, which is yung punang term, at saka yung 1. So, yung 3y to the 9th, derivative of 3y to the 9th in terms of x. So, ito, gagamitan mo siya na implicit differentiation. Ito naman, power rule lang. So, pagka sinulat mo na siya, or tinake mo na yung derivative ng 3y to the 9th, baba mo yung 9, multiply mo sila, minus 1 this exponent, so you have y to the 8, then wag mo kalimutan isulat yung dy over dx para pakita na yung derivative ng 3y to the 9th is in terms of x. At since ito, constant rule, derivative of 1 in, term of, in terms of x, is 0 lang kasi 0 yung uh, Every time magkukuha ka ng uh, derivative ng constant, it's always 0. So, it's 0 times dx over dx. Now, to simplify your uh, steps, 9 times 3 is 27y to the 8th, dy over dx equal to 0. Pero sabi dito, we're trying to find dy over dx. So, para nagsosolve ka lang ng linear equation, so, kailangan i-isolate mo yung dy over dx Kailangan na mag-isa lang siya dito. So, to get rid of 27y to the 8th, divide mo yung both sides ng 27y to the 8th para ma-cancel mo siya. And as a result, dy over dx is by itself. So, nakuha mo na yung function. So, medyo uh, kakaiba siya dun sa previous examples kasi this time, yung, e yung equation mo equal na sa isa pang term. Kaya, yung implicit differentiation rule natin, medyo nagkaroon ng pagbabago. So, the derivative of 3y to the 9th equals 1 in terms of x is simply 0. Kasi 0 over 27 of 27y to the 8th is 0. Okay? So, ngayon, dito naman, parang yung example number 4, we're finding the derivative of 2x plus 3y to the 4th equals x squared in terms of x. So every time gagawa, um, sasagot kayo ng mga derivative uh, uh, problems, bago kayo mag, bago kayo isip, bago nyo isip kung anong rule ang kailangan nyo gamitin, isa-isahin nyo muna or tingnan nyo muna mabuti kung ano yung mga rules na mag apply dun sa function. Like ito, meron tayong 1, 2, 3 terms. So uh, we'll take the derivative of each term. Tapos gagamitan natin siya ng rule na, na aayon doon sa bawat term. So we have 2x. Trying to find the derivative of 2x. Kunin nyo rin derivative ng 3y to the 4th. And then kunin nyo rin derivative ng x squared. So uh, pinakita ko lang yung bawat step. So dun sa first term, or sa first function, derivative ng 2x in terms of x is simply 2. Tapos yung derivative naman ng 3y to the 4th, gagamitin natin siya na implicit differentiation because kinukuha mo yung function in terms of x pero hindi naman siya x, y siya. Kaya 12y cubed, idagdag nyo yung dy over dx. Equal to, derivative ng x squared is simply 2x. Tulad ng example number 4, we're trying to find dy over dx. So kailangan natin i-isolate yung dy over dx para lahat ng terms nyo nandito sa kabilang side ng equation. 
So isang the first step, syempre tanggalin niyo yung constant, subtract two on both sides. Sa atin tinatawag na transposition, pero here just take it out using um, well, minus 2 on both sides. So meron ka ng 12y cubed dy over dx equal to 2x minus 2. And since hindi pa rin mag-isa si dy over dx, kailangan mo pa rin i-cancel si 12y cubed using division. So divide mo lang siya, divide mo yung both sides ng 12y cubed para ma-cancel mo to. So yung dy over dx mo, mag-isa na lang. So dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 2 all over 12y cubed. So, yan yung implicit differentiation.